Uh, today we'll be discussing about how to drive success in your customer support teams with the help of Zoho Click. And uh, I'm Cheryl. I'm a product marketer at Zoho Click, and I'll be your host for today. We also have our customer success specialist Pradeep and Zishan with us today. Let's dive into the agenda. First, we look at some of the important goals that every customer support team focuses on, and also some common challenges that they encounter. And we'll be introducing Zoho Click and see how. So who click addresses these challenges and helps customer support teams. And then we'll have the live interaction with Pradeep and Zishan about how they use Zoho Click on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that they stay on top of their game. And finally, it'll be a QA session wherein um, Pradeep and Zishan will be answering all your questions. So let me just go ahead and talk about some of the important goals that every customer support team has. And the first thing is customer satisfaction. The goal of every customer support team is to make the customers happy so that, um, you know, they feel good about purchasing your product. That's the first thing. And the second thing is they engage with the customers throughout the process, right from the onboarding uh, to, to, a, to the, um, you know, the end stages of um, setting up a product. And then the third thing is customer retention, which is the um, you know, it is one of the most important factor for any business. So it's not just important for people to purchase a product, but it also matters how many people stay with you till the end of the journey. And the last thing is customer loyalty, wherein every customer support team member engages with the customer, builds a rapport with them so that the customers stay loyal to your business. So why are all these four things very, very important? So this stat from by the HubSpot research says that 93% of the customers are likely to buy a product again, make repeat purchases with companies if they feel very satisfied with the customer service. 93% itself is a very huge number, which speaks why customer service is very, very important and also defines that customer su support is the backbone of any business. So basically it can make a business or it can also make a, break a business. So what should you do as a customer support team member or a team lead to ensure that your customer service or your customer support is on top of the game? So the first thing you, is you should hire the right team. So make sure you bring in the right individual so that they work together in unison as a group so that there are no gaps and the customers in the end feel satisfied. And also you should make sure that you purchase the right tools so that the right team gets to use the right tools to convert or to, you know, make the, be make the best use and improve the productivity. And also purchasing the right tools helps you address issues quickly, which also results in happy customers. And finally, you should also, also make sure to build a good rapport with your customers so that they stay with you. And this could, um, you know, create some brand awareness for you and word of the mouth marketing for you and things like that. So what are some of the common challenges that every customer support team goes through in the process of uh, helping out the customers or addressing issues and things like that? The first thing is the time taken to solve any issue. This is a very, very crucial factor throughout the process because the faster you solve an issue, um, the happier the customer is. Because if you take a lot of time to resolve an issue, that um, probably creates angry customers, as mentioned on the screen. And also, you need to make sure you understand the customer journey. For example, a custom, customer might have reached out to you like three times in a week, but you might not be aware of it. That is not right at all. You need to know the touch points of the customer and always stay updated so that you needn't have to pick an issue fresh at every point of time, but also understand what the customer is going through. And the fourth thing, thing is the access to knowledge base, for example, help articles or the right resources, collaterals that you need to share with the customer so that they are equipped with the right uh, materials to uh, get their journey started. And the final thing is unavailability of the right tools to collaborate, which I already addressed because this helps in solving issues faster. So if you are equipped with the right tools, you can make sure that you get work done faster. So how do you go about from a confused state like this when you're handling too many customers or too many issues at a time to conquering the world? So what will help you achieve this? 
This is where Zoho Click comes in place. Zoho Click helps customer support teams bridge this tiny gaps in their processes and make sure that they solve issues faster. So what does Zoho Click have? Why should you go with Zoho Click? The first thing is you can get work done from anywhere the, with the help of chat and meetings. And the second thing is you can create channels, which is basically like group chats for different support streams, purposes. And third thing is networks, which is a dedicated external collaboration platform to engage with your customers, your partners. And the final thing is integration and workflow automation, which basically will help you save a lot of time. So yeah, you can connect with uh, your customers or your team from anywhere with the help of video meetings, audio meetings, or the plain old chat as well from Zoho Click. And the second thing, as I already mentioned, channels. For example, like uh, like you see on the screen, you can create channels for exclusively for only your support team, or you can create uh, channels to keep track of um, you know tickets open tickets, close tickets, escalations. And also you can create channels to um, discuss about your knowledge base, your video tutorials and things like that. So you can set up channels for various purposes and make sure that you add the right people in the group and collaborate with them. And talking about external collaboration, with the help of networks, you can create dedicated spaces to collaborate with your customers. For example, like you see on the screen, you can create a network for Zilka customers, which is, wherein Zilka is the organization and add all your customers to that particular network. And you can connect via video call, audio call, chat. You can share files with your customers and discuss with them. Basically, you maintain a repository to discuss with the customer and understand what the customer is going through through every point of time instead of you know losing touch with them. So this basically improves customer engagement and also helps you increase customer loyalty. And finally, integrations and extensions. We have some readily available extensions in Zoho Marketplace, which you can integrate with, with the help of that, you can integrate with some of your help desk solutions like Zendesk or Zoho Desk, PagerDuty and Manage Engine Service Desk Plus. Or you can also build custom integrations with our internal tools in Click Platform, uh, for example, you can build bots, you can build schedulers, commands, and things like that. For example, what you see on screen is a desk bot, which is uh, integrated with Zoho Desk. It gives you all the information. For example, if you want to pick a ticket that is open in Zoho Desk, you need to have to move to Zoho Desk or switch your tab. When you ask for it in the channel, it will pick the particular ticket that you ask for and drop it in the channel and you can view it inside Zoho Click itself. So there are endless possibilities uh, in Zoho Click using which your customer support teams can um, work faster, work better and improve their productivity. And maybe I'm not the right person to talk about this. So we, I have with me Pradeep and Zeeshan, our customer support uh, success specialist who will be answering some of the questions that I have with me right now and also your questions. So uh, let's just go ahead with them. So over to you, Pradeep and Zishan. Yeah, thank you, Cheryl. Uh, it was really a great uh, introduction and uh, thanks everyone for joining this webinar. So it's great to have you all over here for today's webinar sessions. So yes, Cheryl, so we can go with the uh, question answers. Yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, let me just, all right. Um, so yeah, I have a few detailed questions for you, which you can take your time answering. And then I have some interesting questions also for you later on. And then we'll move on to the Q&A session with our uh, attendees for today. And the first question is, what are some of the common challenges that you face in, um, in in your process and how do you use zoho click to help tackle these challenges uh, that's really a great question which uh, one every support people have uh, in in recent days so being in a support field there are few challenges uh, that has been overcome uh, via click so one would be i would say that this uh, kind of arranging all the follow-ups about the customer tickets about the issues the queries with our development team internally and then also following up with the customers in providing the updates and also keeping the track of our upcoming uh, meetings schedules 
And then also uh, the other challenge would be like uh, kind of ensuring that uh, the upcoming meeting, which we have internally with our development team or any upcoming session we have with the customer, that they doesn't collide with each other. So to maintain a separate time for each and every session is very much important. And also uh, having uh, multiple tabs in order to interact with customers, that's one of the challenge. For an instance, in one tab, we are having a chat live interaction with the customers. In the other tab, we have a, a call to uh, to discuss with customer about the challenges. So having multiple, multiple tabs is quite a challenge. Okay. And also we need to uh, kind of ensure that whatever discussion we have regarding the customer's feedback about the features request, everything is kept in one single place that can be followed anytime in a later purpose and then also we need to make sure that whenever we are in a meeting with customers we take down the notes so these are the challenges which i have noticed and that's been well covered by the click okay. so yeah that would be all all right so uh, i see that you use some um, pretty much uh, some important tools on a day-to-day -day daily basis to tackle your challenges with the help of zoho click but besides some of these prime tools um, what other features or tools do you think can be used by um, the customer support teams to improve productivity? So, yes, yeah, Cheryl. So, uh, the other tool, apart from all this, would be uh, I would tell. Uh, we have the scheduler feature in Zoho Click mm -hmm. uh, where one can uh, schedule a recurring uh, reminders. Okay. So there might be an announcement that needs to be posted daily in a channel and everyone needs to know that. Mm -hmm. So rather than sending a message manually, we can use schedulers to uh, schedule the events that can be posted in a channel on a specific time period. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, the other feature would be like kind of star messages. So whenever there is an any important uh, uh, kind of information about any help article that we support needs to know from the development perspective, we used to star those. So that can be referred in a later in a category wise, like if it is important or something to be done, we mark it accordingly and then view it later. And then we also have an option like uh, to pin the message. Mm -hmm. So if it is something very much important for everyone to know that, that shouldn't be repeatedly uh, told in the channel. Okay. We used to pin that particular message and that can be done uh, uh, like forever or through a time period as well. And then we have an option to search uh, any specific messages within the channel. So we can make use of the search. We have it within the channel and type a keyword and we can search it. And then we have a, a quick meeting option where we can schedule a meeting within the channel and can have our customers include in the meeting and the conversation can go on. So those are the uh, tools apart from those mentioned. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that Click has a lot of tools uh, inside the interface that would probably help you improve your productivity and stay on top of your game. But if you could recall one particular feature that could be a game changer, in, in Zoho Click that could help every team, not just customer support teams. Um, what would you name the feature? I mean, what uh, feature would you name? So Cheryl, I would say that it would it is the extensions uh, that we have in Zoho Click. And uh, it is the Click platform mm -hmm. and making sure that the team gets adapted to a Click platform, make sure that it's going to be a game changer and in fact improve, uh, mm -hmm. substantially improve their performance altogether. So. As you already uh, gave an introduction, so I would okay. say that the desk bot in Zoho Click, yeah. uh, where we integrate our service desk portal, uh, which is Zoho Desk, and we get an instant notification whenever there is a ticket raised. And it also comes with a couple of buttons for quick actions, mm -hmm. which helps us expedite the customer's concern. So it is like the customer clicks on uh, his profile picture, mm -hmm selects the options, share feedback, mm. and we receive an email right away. Mm. And again, we receive a notification in the desk bot. And this particular workflow that I've told you right now, remarkably brings up the SLA adherence. Okay. Yes, and yeah. we've, been, we've been getting uh, the utmost benefit of it every day. And uh, when it comes to Click's platform um, and ensuring that the team adapts to it, I would like to share a scenario where Click bridges the gap between the customer or the end user and the mm -hmm. developer right away. So this might sound a bit different to a usual scenario, but we really, the developers usually strive to deliver a best end user experience, right? Mm -hmm. So in this scenario, as a support or a solutions engineer, yeah. 
we have automated a simple workflow where whenever we chat or speak to a customer or even handle a ticket so we are supposed to execute a command named ccd okay right and uh, in fact uh, i guess it would also be better if i will be screen sharing a live example is that fine yep totally i think our audience will love it yeah yeah right so i was explaining about the uh, the desk bot interface right so yes. this is how a customer usually uh, raises a ticket so the okay. customer clicks on his profile picture the okay. send feedback button appears to him and this actually ensures that the traditional way of composing email is kept away okay right? so this is how it's done and once this is done it directly ensures that a screenshot is attached which actually gives us a very good insight about the exact issue and so on mm -hmm. and uh, in addition to this as i've already told you we will be receiving an email and yeah. this is how the email will look like so the intention of uh, like showcasing the exact workflow is to make sure that mm -hmm. customers get to know or the attendees in this session get to know on how the workflow is designed at our end and how best we take care of uh, the concerns raised by our customers so once this is done we get a quick dashboard notification and the buttons are followed up okay. so there was continuing the discussion where i was telling you about a remarkable feature called uh, the ccd command yeah. so we call it but as a we call it the game changer of click especially for the support team okay. so here i come back to the example again a mm -hmm. quick gist of uh, the prime responsibility that we hold as a support engineer we need to constantly update our developers or the module owners of of this particular product that what exactly is happening on the other end so whenever i speak or chat to a customer i simply take execute this command mark the source of the uh, interaction mm -hmm. ensure that the customer's email address is entered uh, the type whether it's a feedback query or an issue and so on yeah. i will be mapping the concerned module to it and i'll be adding a comment and complete the submission so every person who is a part of my team mm -hmm. gets this done uh, on time and we strictly adhere to this workflow okay. now our developers or product management team mm -hmm. get this information furbished in a dashboard mm -hmm. and uh, you will also be uh, they'll also be get to they'll also be getting uh, a very quick information about the real time issues reported by users and uh, they can also gauge on the module which is highly being affected say okay. for example in this video itself i've raised a request and this is how it is logged okay. and this is shared to the entire development team mm -hmm. and uh, yeah it's a game changer again yeah so uh, this is built using the click yes. platform so let's make it built on our audience platform. i think some of them might have questions on this and yeah. this is um, custom built right pradeep Yes, yes. Okay. This is custom built. So, any business for that matter, uh, depending on their requirements, they can build whatever they want with the help of our Click platform. True, true, true. All, all right. So, yeah. yeah. Um, um, let's move on to the next question. If you were to give out a few tips on how to use Click the best way possible, so that everybody uh, gets the most out of it, what would you say? Uh, yes, Cheryl. So there are a lot of features available in Click, but a few tips that one could give to uh, the customer support would be like we can suggest to make use of channels. Mm -hmm. So we have channels in Click uh, where a discussion can take place. So we can have a channel for support related queries. We can have a channel for marketing. Mm -hmm. So where one can jump in and can ask the questions related to their uh, field. So generally in, in Zoho, we have a practice of maintaining a separate channel for each and every product team where we click team, for example, jump into the uh, CRM channel and ask the questions like, hey, we have a customer with these issues or questions. Mm -hmm. Could you help us out? So that would be one thing, a channel. And and the other thing, uh, other thing would be to make use of the threads feature, which we have within the channel uh, where uh, we can uh, post the customer's issues and ensure that all the discussion is in one particular place. Okay. So that's one of the tool. And then we can uh, make use of the status we, which we have in Click, the default status. For example, we have available, 
we have busy we have remote work status as well okay. so in order to make our current uh, uh, status sync with others so that everyone knows that hey we are busy currently on a customer call or we are on a remote session so we can change the status accordingly and also we have my pin feature as well mm -hmm. on, on the left side bar of click we can pin those chats which we frequently use for a conversation so for a support perspective we we pin those chat which we use in daily basis for example uh, the support channel the uh, channel with the product management team the development team all those chats channels are being pinned for us to use it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Those would be useful tips that one I would suggest. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, Zishan. I am pretty much sure that these uh, little tools will be helpful for any um, department or any team for that matter. For example, the small, small features that pretty much go missing from people's eyes when they use click because they think it's more about chat or uh, video calls and audio calls. So pin, pinning an important uh, chat or starting a, a message is important. All of these are pretty much a, tiny features inside Zooclick that could uh, help you be more productive, right? Thank you so much for sharing these with us. I am, I'm sure that our audience here uh, would have uh, had a nice time listening to both of you. Um, so uh, we are going to wrap up here. I have a few more questions for both of you and let's just make this discussion a little bit interesting okay um so i have a few questions so let me just pick up my phone um okay the so first question is um i'm pretty sure that most of them attending this session would uh, agree with how a customer is the king but what do you think is the customer always the king or if yes, why? And if not, why? What do you think, first of all? Uh, firstly, Cheryl, I'd, I'd like to thank you for asking this question. And uh, who would say no? Yes, the customer is always the king. And in fact, a key to a successful business. So keeping the interaction right with uh, a customer gives us a very good insight of the actual state of the product and, and how well uh, they make use of our product in their company. So sufficing their simple requirements, setting the bar up to their expectations, uh, help us gain a lot of loyalty. And Cheryl, your loyal customers turn out to be a true evangelist. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, and they add up to a very swift business progression. So this part that they hold always makes them a king. So yeah, Pradeep feels that customer is always the king. So I agree completely. I agree with that because even from a marketing perspective, they do the word of mouth marketing and it's easier to get the message across when a customer is very happy. So definitely customer is the king. And yeah, moving on. Uh, we've discussed some positive aspects of customers, which means we just, uh, um, you know, came to a conclusion that a customer is always the king. But how do you deal with customers who ask for, uh, you know, trial extensions. How do you, what do you think about that? Uh, yes, Cheryl. So, so we, we are in a customer support field. We, we are very generous uh, to our customers who really ask us for a trial period. Actually, we think that as an opportunity to us that someone is really interested to check the potential of click and how it can be useful in their organizations. So we just check the customer details. And at that moment, we ensure that the trial is given to the customer so that they make the most of use of the click. So yeah, uh, that's really nice, Zishan, because I think everybody, um, maybe some people would take only five days to evaluate a product, but some businesses might not be able to do that um, because their requirements might be vast or their organization may, might be vast. And uh, definitely, um, it's nice to hear that we provide uh, free trial extensions uh, depending on the requirements of any business. And uh, let's talk about response times now. So what do you do when you don't have an answer to any particular question that a customer has posed to you? How do you deal with that? OK, uh, so Cheryl, talking about response times, I must be telling you that we are quite stringent in abiding by our SLAs, mm -hmm. uh, the service level agreements. And in the first place, we make sure that the customer is initially acknowledged that we 
are in receipt of their concern or query raised mm-hmm. so comes coming up next is a rigorous follow up that we have with the concern module owner yep. and uh, all of this is usually done within the first 6 hours in a day's time or from the time that the request has been raised or it might also take a day considering the traffic or the severity of this issue okay despite of any other factors or at any point of time the customer never goes lost since we proactively provide them an update mm-hmm. on the status of the solution or what exactly is coming up for them okay. and uh, coming up to the question on what do you exactly do when we don't have an answer so let me tell you that despite of well being despite of being very well equipped with the ins and outs of the product we do we do go through scenarios where we have concerns that may be out of our scope yeah. say for instance let me tell you a, a, a quite common concern so it is mostly about the platform okay so once a customer or the end user gets to know the real potential of the platform mm-hmm. and how it transforms uh, their business and that too within an internal chat tool so they start requesting us to code their bots or they insist us to quickly jump over or hop on to a remote session and get the scripting work done okay so so what we do is we admit the exact procedure on what we adhere to and we assure them with an exact eta and it always helps us play right so it's like we do not over promise and underperform all right so it's basically uh it all comes down to how um, serious the issue is for example if it requires the help of the development team it would definitely take some time to address yeah. the issues but uh, we try our best to address it within a day uh, thank yeah. you for that pradeep um, i have another question so uh, what do you think is the most important factor for any support agent to deliver a superior customer experience yeah shadil so the most important factor i would say is to being attentiveness mm-hmm. so the more we listen to customers the more we get to know them yeah it could be any issues related thing it could be any feature request because it's a customer who comes to us and give us a feature request that they think might be helpful in their business so listening to customer in any scenarios it could be even when they are irate mm-hmm. or whether want to share any issues so listening to them and taking an action to meet their requirement is one of the important factor i would say mm-hmm. yeah i think um that's a really nice answer zeeshan i think everybody um would agree with you um everybody wants to be heard first that's the most important thing and then then it goes on uh to how you address the issue how quicker you address the issue so in a scenario i g- i'll give you a scenario so where uh, where a customer requirement comes before the product management's uh, release plans what is the role of a support agent in your team uh, in the product releases so sheryl it's a quite uh, quite a prime role to be honest uh, and in these cases mm-hmm. the customer is immediately acknowledges that the feature that he or she expects is in plans okay, okay. and uh, we also try to give the customer a constructed insight on what is expected what can be expected to them mm-hmm. and this insight is given provided on the severity of the discussion or on the real purpose that they have and uh, we parallelly intimate the product management team with the list of similar requests that have been raised by different customers across different companies and we proactively fetch this information to them uh, on a timely manner so what happens is in this particular cycle this eventually helps the product management team to gauge the actual need of the feature release and if it's high time to expedite the feature release mm-hmm. they are really bound to take a decision yeah so yeah so the customer comes first so whatever requirements yes. the customers yeah. have it, it is first address and it's great yeah. to know that we work together as a team not just yeah. within the team but with yeah. other teams like development teams the product yeah. management team and yeah. marketing teams yeah. uh, nice to know that so i have another question have you made any commitments to a customer that you couldn't keep up so if so how did you handle that situation Uh, yes, Cheryl. There had been few such occasions where we have promised a day to our customers, whether it could be related to the feature request mm-hmm. or about the fix going live. Uh, mm-hmm. But as a human, we tends to make some errors. So 
we happen to miss the committed date which we have given to customers. So what we support team in general practice is that we ensure that an email acknowledging the customers that, hey, uh, we have failed to address the request on the committed date. And this is with the reason probably a technical challenges or it could be any reason for which we have failed to deliver the request. So we ensure to uh, send them an email in prior to the committed date so that they know like, yes, this, this is a reason and, and they get to know us. So we, we keep this as a practice at our end and then we ensure that uh, it's been delivered uh, after the date which we have given them in the email. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, uh, it's great to know, to know that you have a process set up to handle the situations. And uh, let's say you have promised something to a customer and uh, so, uh, some customers do get very agitated, right? And at one point, they might get very um, abusive also. So in that situation, how do you handle them? So nothing is taken personal in the first place, uh, Cheryl. So being emotionally intelligent and being their active listeners is how we set ourselves. Yeah. So later, it is followed by focusing on the pain point, which has actually paved a way to such a scenario, mm -hmm. which is quite unusual. And uh, next comes on how the concern is supposed to be handled. So customers still losing out their cool despite of being despite of we being empathetic or even after we disclose our scope of assistance or support is quite common though mm -hmm. um, and we usually do not encourage profanity we we keep that informed in a very gentle way mm -hmm. whenever it is needed mm -hmm. at the end we usually ensure that the frustration is vented out okay mm -hmm. when a person is highly frustrated and we make sure that it is vented out uh, eventually mm -hmm. it creates a room or a space for us to ensure that the customer gets to know the ground reality. Mm -hmm. So that's how like the pitch goes up and that's how we make sure that it is, it is balanced and it's going to be a very good ending. Yeah. Yeah. So basically uh, you make sure that the customer is able to explain completely what they're going through. So that yes. they also feel better that they got to reach you and explain what uh, is happening with them. And uh, yeah, once that is done, I think you can take over later on and address the issues as time yeah. progresses, right? Uh, that's good. So yeah, I have a final question uh, for both of you, actually. Uh, can you both share your experience, uh, some of your best experiences as being part of the customer support team in Zoho Click? Okay. So with immense pleasure, I'd like to state that being in a team that's actually the face of Zoho Click mm -hmm. and interacting with its real-time audience is a great experience altogether. And uh, numerous instances of uh, we working out or me working out in a complex case or a scenario or winning an irated customer mm -hmm. and gaining back their loyalty towards the product remains to be my best experience so far. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Zishan. Yes, Shadow. So as, as Pradeep stated that uh, we, we are the point of contact uh, between customers and a product. So there have been a numerous occasions uh, where customer had been irate with us related to the product and we have been able to gain their trust and we have able to address this uh, the issues or whatever uh, problem they have with the click. And initially on winning their trust, they have like they have uh, bought the license for the click itself so it's it's a great experience that there is and, and there, i mean there isn't anything personal i mean customer comes to us and we we win their trust and finally they they buy zoho click so it's one of the best experience one can have yeah customer like they tend to have uh, the irate, uh, irate, irate i mean when they uh, aren't uh, being promised and they get what they want so that's one of the best experience i have i would say it's great to know that both of you are enjoying being part of the customer support team. But uh, I'd like to actually uh, tell an important point. In my opinion, I kind of feel that the customer facing roles are the most difficult uh, roles to, you know, actually, it's very difficult to put ourselves in your shoes and see how you handle customers. So kudos to both of you for doing yeah. this. Uh, yeah. So I think I'm done with my questions for today. And we have a lot of questions from our uh, audience. And I think you can take over and answer these questions one by one. Okay. Sure, Shadow. Sure. Yeah. So uh, the very first question uh, from Kastub Dalvi, uh, are click conversation and calls recorded? So 
I would say that uh, currently uh, the meeting which we have in Click is being recorded. If one opt to record it, so there's a settings uh, where one can choose to record the meetings. And regard to the Click conversation, yes, even that is being recorded. Like whatever conversation we have, so as an admin, we can export the data. So and all those export data will have the conversation which we uh, take place in a channel or even in a one to one. So that's possible. And a one to one call recording isn't available as of now. We are working on it. Yeah. And uh, there is another question raised uh, raised by Mr. Tamim Ansari. So if a user is terminated, is it possible to back up all his chats and uh, private messages? So yes, it is. Uh, we do have uh, a data export and click. You can have a back backup of his data. And even though if the user is deleted from the organization, uh, you, you the conversation that you had with the user remains to stay in your chat history. So it's it's not a big uh, thing. And uh, yeah. So uh, the other question from Onom Taivo, like, uh, please, how can click be used for external customer without the Zoho applications? So we have a feature called guest chats. So we can make use of a guest chats and invite the external user where the end user doesn't need to sign up for Zoho Click. They get the link, they access it, they validate themselves by an OTP and that's it. And one more feature which Cheryl had already uh, disclosed is the network feature. So you can create a network, a space dedicated for external user collaboration where the end user just need to have a Zoho account, not the Zoho Click applications. So these are the two ways by which you can communicate with the outside users. And, uh, Cheryl, I do see multiple questions about uh, recording and meetings. Yes. Yeah. Is that OK if I like share a quick video on this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to get the. Yeah, I'll do that. One second. So I hope you're able to see the screen. Yeah, it's visible. So we have two options in Zoho Click, which is, uh, I mean, like you obviously have an option to schedule a meeting within a particular channel or any discussion, though. So while you schedule the meeting, you can give it a name, set the date and time, and so on, and ensure that the meeting is recorded right from its inception. So that's that's one thing. So making sure that you add co-hosts and speakers, ensure that you have a dedicated set of people who are supposed to answer questions in the particular event or in the, in the particular meeting. And apart from this, we also have a quick, uh, we, have, we also have an option called Meet Now, which ensures that you start a quick meeting. And in this particular meeting, what we have, start, we have uh, been adhering to is like both our external and internal meetings are being taken, being done in Click itself. So we can quickly start a meeting or even schedule a meeting. And in this case, in this part of video, I'm going to show you what happens when we quickly initiate a meeting. So we can generate a link that can be shared to an external person. And uh, it can be shared via your personal email. Or in fact, you can make sure that the end user's email is marked down here. You can make sure that the meeting is recorded and also streamed to an external set of audience. So you can also generate an uh, external link, uh, which can be shared to a larger set of audience. So when it comes to the number of people that can be accommodated in a session, you can broadcast this uh, meeting to up to 10,000 people. And you can also have uh, 1,000 users and even more in a conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, assigning speakers, make sure that people can raise their hands and uh, the speakers can answer their questions. And moving on, I would like to give our very renowned example, Cheryl, you, me, Zeeshan, the entire Zoho, uh, usually will be having a town hall uh, with uh, our CEO, right? Yeah. So all of that is done in Click itself. So that's a remarkable example that we set, ourselves, we set to ourselves. Yeah. 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 So uh, the, the other questions from Amit Gupta. Uh, can you please let us know the limitation in Zoho Click? So uh, generally, Click is being offered as a free version and also as a paid version. And both the version has their own limitations. So in the free version, we can have like up to 100 participants in a channel. The searchable message histories can be limited up to 10,000. 
we won't be able to create team channels. We won't be able to create external channels. There are a lot of limitation. Mm -hmm. So I'll share the comparison link to the answer and hopefully yeah. Amit can go through that. Done. Okay. Thanks, Dishan. You're welcome. So Manveer has an interesting question. Um, as an admin, can I hear click calls? Can one of you please answer this question for me? Uh, I am looking forward to this. Uh, no, right now we do not have an option which ensures that the admin uh, gets to hear the click calls. Yeah. So we have a couple of similar requests, and we are um, we are like ideating on a workflow mm -hmm. with the help of the product management team. But uh, yes, if you are a part of uh, the meeting and it is recorded, it's obviously it's obviously true. But uh, the admin will not be able to hear all the calls that are happening in uh, mm. the company. So yeah, at the moment it's not possible. Yes. Yeah, I think we have some questions on guest chats. Any limitations for guest chat? And yeah. So there is no uh, there is no limitation for a guest chat. See, uh, it it mostly depends on the scenario. Mm -hmm. So you can make use of guest chats or you can make use of networks uh, in Click uh, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to guest chat, if you want to instantly communicate with the person over a shorter period of time. And you don't want them to like uh, sign up for the product or mm -hmm. sign up for Zoho Click just to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. You can make sure that you send a link, have an audio video call, and even screen share is possible. You can also have a group guest chat, loop in the internal team of yours, and have a communication with guests. Yeah. But if it's a if it's a dedicated set of audience who might be a clients, partners, vendors, uh, you can onboard them onto a network. Yeah. So, and point to be noted, the onboarding is very seamless. As you already yeah, know, yeah. they can be invited using that mobile number itself. Okay. Uh, so, uh, John has a question. Is, is it possible to check call logs of Zoptic? It's completely possible. So, I think Zishan will answer that. Uh, yes, Cheryl. So, I mean, being an as, as an admin, if we think like we need to check the call logs mm -hmm. for other user, then that's not possible. Okay. Yeah. Something personal that one can go to the history tab and view the call logs over there. Yeah. Thank you so much, Zishan, for clarifying that. Yeah. Uh, Glenda has also another question like, does the desk bot and ticket details feed into CRM? Yeah. So, uh, Cheryl, so this is possible. We can do that through a custom function. Yeah. So, one needs to write a code or script and then push the CRM, uh, uh, the DEX data to a CRM. Yeah. So, that's possible. So, we have an APIs for those available. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, Glenda has gotten the answer for this. Um, we have a few other questions, I think. Like, is it possible to use Click to send information to many clients at the same time? So it actually depends upon uh, the kind of information. See, as I've already told you, you need to create a medium to communicate your client with your clients. Mm -hmm. So if it is a network, uh, you can post it over a network, make an announcement, make yeah. use of schedulers and so on. But I would like to know a bit more about this question. Why? Because there are numerous options and uh, multiple possibilities. So I would like to have a bullseye shot on this, like on to strike up with the right answer. So it would be better if they can mail us. Yeah, uh, please, Hassam, please do mail us. Uh, also, Pradeep and Zishan, Mega has an interesting uh, question. If you can uh, see, yes. Okay. So, how can we manage the external networks? Yeah, uh, and click in such a manner that yeah. So generally, see, I mean, as you have mentioned, we have a network feature. So, network is a kind of a dedicated space where all the outside users can be added and can collaborate together, just like how we do or do in the business organization. So, the users when we add in the network will be exposed to other users as well. So, in this scenario, what we can suggest is to add the external user as a contact. So the one who adds the user as a contact, only that particular user will be able to view the external user. And that particular user will not be, not be visible to any other user in the organization. Same thing goes when we add them in an external channel. So the email address will not be exposed to any other participant in that channel. So that's possible through contact feature. We can add the user as a contact. Yep. Uh, also, uh, I need to. I want to make this clear that if you're creating multiple networks in Zooclick, all these networks are standalone. Like uh, two networks cannot interact with each other, or your network members cannot interact with your Click or 
members so yeah let me just clarify that and and one another very important clarification sharil uh, yeah. in addition to what zeeshan told mega has actually come up with a great question i yeah. would appreciate her for that a very good question so when you say uh, that you would like to create a network mm-hmm. and in a manner that none of the client details are exposed uh, yes uh, client details will be exposed once you make sure that they are communicating with each other yeah. right but uh, what they can also do is like she has also raised a question that uh, they the clients or the external people added into a network must be able to communicate with only a set of people in the company yeah. so we have roles in zoho click which uh, in which they can first create departments mm-hmm. uh, by segregating uh, the people or the partners who are a part of the network in different departments so you create four different rooms mm-hmm. called departments and you uh, in the role in the role section of zoho click you make sure that a department a people in a particular department communicate either communicate within themselves mm-hmm. or only communicate within uh, to another department so just, they just map the kind of communication that must be happening yeah. so that uh, though all of them are part of a single network they will not be able to interact with each other and they will be only be able to interact with uh, the admin department or so on in other words if there is if there are 10 people from your company managing the network and there are 100 people who are a, a part of uh, different uh, departments mm-hmm. you can make sure that the communication is routed to your admin team yeah. and the people in department do not communicate with each other so that's a very good question and yeah i would like to acknowledge that again i hope mega is still there with us yeah 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 i presume so okay um yeah. we have a few other questions so we can just quickly answer them i guess think uh one question from ram suresh that uh, can you please show adding external user and action after through screen sharing mm-hmm. so we have a help article uh, which we can share to uh, ram okay. uh, that has the detailed instruction along with the screenshot which the end user has to follow once being invited as an external contact or to a channel mm-hmm. so will we can share that to ram yeah sure okay I think a few others want to know how to make bots work. I think all of this would require, and uh, some people have doubts regarding deluge. So all of this would take a long time to you know sort this out, right? So probably to, uh, we can reach but, out to them. Yeah, yeah. But to narrow this down, Cheryl. Yeah. Uh, I would like to give a simple announcement to all of our attendees uh, in this session that. Mm-hmm. i have given you a demonstration of how best you can reach out to the support team right yeah. so just make use of that option come up with a use case we are here to like uh, crack down that use case give you the right set of help documents mm-hmm. uh, we will not be able to code your what straight away but mm-hmm. we can share you the possibilities and i strongly believe that after this session there's going to be a very ge- very good uh, a very great boom in uh, the platform usage of click yeah yeah, yeah. hopefully yeah uh i think we have questions in the chat section as well like okay. where um where can i see a training video on how to use the zoho system to make sure i'm working right this is um quite a generic question so if you would if you can give us more details on what exactly you're looking for i think it would be uh nice you can reach out to support at zohoclick.com uh, and then we can take it uh, forward from there Yeah, I guess we already have few videos on how to make the best use of uh, Zoho Click. I mean, like post our Zoho yeah. Click three point zero version, and uh, you also have a dedicated video on how best the admin can uh, mm-hmm. make use of the options that he or she has. Yeah, yeah, all of this is also available on uh, YouTube, so you can go ahead and follow us on uh, YouTube. We have a separate channel for Zoho Click, and we'll have some of the how to videos there. getting started video so you can just start watching them and have a better idea of how to use click yeah shall there's one question from uh, tamim ansari yeah. regarding mm-hmm. this uh, deluge so we would like to get the details on the issue which he has probably along with the screenshots or any of the details that would help our developer to debug it further mm-hmm. so we would request tamim to just drop us an email and we'll get back to him Yeah, uh, Tamim. I hope you are in, and uh, please write to us at support at zooclick dot com. 
and we'll reach out. I mean, we'll definitely answer your question. And there is another question from Arvind Kumar that can we send documents from Click to a working okay. drive? Yeah. Uh, we do have an integration with Google Drive though. But uh, if you're using uh, Zoho Work Drive, mm -hmm. uh, we currently have an option only to like upload an image to the file from uh, Zoho Work Drive. You will not be able to share a file from Click to Work Drive at the moment. There is a message action that's being developed. It's mm -hmm. in progress. So yeah. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Do we have any more questions? I think. I think no. It's almost done. Yeah. yeah so um, so we we'll wait for 10 seconds and see if, uh, yeah, somebody has asked, can I set up quick replies? Hanif. So, yes. Can I set up a uh, quick replies? Yeah. So, yeah. So, Hanif, uh, probably, so we, we generally have a quick reaction to each and every message in Click. We just hover over the message and we get the quick reaction that one can customize from the profile and settings. We have the message action as well. So, those are the two options available for any message that one can perform from their end. So, we would like to get a few more details from uh, uh, like uh, Hanif, whether he wants like an automatic response to a message, just like how we have in the Zoho uh, mail, probably when someone is on vacation and he or she receive an email, an automatic response is being sent to them. So, we just need to uh, have a few more uh, clarification on that, like what exactly Hanif is looking for. Is it something like a quick reaction, which we hover over a message and can do, or is it something like an automatic re a response when he, is, uh, he or she is on a leave? Uh, and someone sent him a message, an automatic message is posted to the end user that, hey, I'm on leave. Yeah, uh, I think Arvind also has that question. Can you set up an auto response to a question? Uh, the same thing, exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. So we, we don't have that as of now, an auto response. Okay, I think that answers your question. So um, we've come to the end of the session. So thank you so much, Pradeep and Sishan, for joining me in today's session. It was great having you. I should definitely say this is one of the best that we've done so far. So thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you get to do more of this in the future. All right. Uh, and thanks to each and every one of you for being part of this session and make it, making it really engaging. It was great uh, answering all your questions. So thank you so much. And see you all. Bye-bye. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, everyone. Thank Have you. a good day. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.